Boaz says, all my fellow townsmen know that you are a worthy woman. And by the way, that's another fascinating connection because Proverbs 31 talks about her husband and the gates. And we have that here with Boaz. But they, they said, he said, all the, the men of Bethlehem knew that Ruth was a woman of capacity and ability. Now here's the key question. How do they know that? Like what had they observed about Ruth that would lead them to that conclusion about her. I mean, they didn't really know her personally. So what had they heard or seen that led them to say, she's a woman of capacity and ability? And the answer has to be these points we're looking at today. This is what they had seen or heard about. They heard about her difficult past in Moab. They heard about and they saw her kindness and generosity to Naomi. They saw her determined loyalty to Naomi's family, no matter matter what the cost might be to her. They knew that she was laying down her life in love. They saw her out there in the fields day after day, working hard. And they probably heard that she had come to commit herself to the God of Israel because she feared him. So unlike the way men today talk about women and what men today think is important in women, These men, thankfully, were on to something important when they talked about Ruth together. They looked at her and saw a woman of loving, hard work, loyal generosity, and the fear of the Lord. And so I don't think you'll find anywhere a better example of a Proverbs 31 woman than you find in Ruth. I sure can't think of it in the Bible. Um... And I think that should be very encouraging you for encouraging for those of you who feel like you can never measure up. Proverbs 31 lists all these like skill kind of things that I know some women are like, what in the world? I can't begin to do all that kind of stuff. And so can I just encourage you, that's not the point. That is not what makes her a woman of capacity and ability. Your life can be characterized by seeking the Lord and working hard because of loyal love. And young men, I assure you, that is the kind of woman you want to marry. What our culture tells you to look at in women is so messed up. And if you listen to it, you are going to have a sad marriage. A mighty woman is a woman who is known for how she seeks the Lord and works hard because of loyal love. And her husband and her children will rise up and they will call her blessed. She will be praised There will be fruit from her life of love. And there is one thing that can produce that kind of woman. It is the grace of God. And so I just, I am going for the next couple minutes to repeat myself on this point. (laughs) And I apologize for that. But it's so important. Ruth's hard work came from loyal love. I cannot emphasize that enough. Ruth's hard work was laying down her life for others. Ladies, if you are worn out by your hard work, maybe there's a bit of encouragement in reminding you today that your hard work is the work of loyal love. That is what's motivating it, isn't it? Have you forgotten that it isn't just work, it's actually loyal love? We're trying to teach our girls this. Work is love. Maybe you're caring for your mother or mother-in-law. Maybe it's a brother or sister who needs your care. Maybe it's cramming hours to pay the bills or serving patients whom you may never meet again. Maybe it's a marriage covenant you've made with a husband or children who are wearing you to the bone. But it's loyal love, isn't it? That's underneath your hard work. And what is more important than that? Hard work doesn't always seem important. And let's be quick to admit, hard work can be very selfish, right? We can hard work just work hard just for ourselves. That's not what we're talking about. Hard work can be, doesn't always seem important. Hard work can seem very mundane. Loyal love, though, is not mundane. It is extremely important. And loyal love is demonstrated by laying down your life for others. God knows that your loyal love is a reflection of Jesus. God will not forget your labor of love. There might not be anything more precious than loyal love. This is who God is. This is what he has done for us at the cross. So don't ever look down on simple hard work, like picking up sheaves of grain all day 
when it's motivated by the loyal love of a woman who is seeking God and knows God's love for her. That may not get any headlines on earth, but it gets them in heaven. Mm -hmm.